already at Y254 channel and at Brian Soko 101 on the hashtag Go in the morning. Welcome back. This is the last conversation of the day. And as always, let us know where you're watching us from. We'll definitely be glad to sample your feedback and get to interact with you. We have asked your question on our socials. We are talking about connections. Zimewai Kuksaidia Amahauna Eni, by the way. Tell us, do you have them? Like I said in the intro, have you ever managed to get into a project, a job successfully? Was it through a connection? Someone who knew someone who knew someone? Definitely that's the conversation of the day uh, right now. And I'm being joined live by Colin Mogo. He's a law student. Uh, I'm not going to mention the university. We're not advertising. And Steve Misango, he's also a law student. Karibuni sana. Steve, you've been here before, and uh, good to see you again. Karibu sana. But let me start with you, Collins. Uh, when it comes to connections, there's just something about, you know, connections, especially in this day and age. Even when it comes to stories of corporate, you know, a lot of people just think you'll finish university, graduate, get your CV, get your certificate, and then all of a sudden, you're employed. But, you know, you need somebody to tell somebody about you before they get to know you. So for you personally, have you had any experiences so far that have given you connections? Thank you, Fako. Uh, to begin with, I would actually like to give you statistics. Uh, in Kenya, the unemployment rate is at around 3 million. That is from the statistics given by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. And more than half, 1.6 million, of the unemployed are youths. That means that youths have to find a way to get jobs uh, away from the conventional way of getting jobs. Uh, coming back to the question about uh, social capital and connections, I can tell you for a, for a fact that connections are what most people use to get jobs. Personally, I would say that most of the jobs that I have gotten so far, 90% of them were through people who talked to people who had the projects or who had the jobs, and not necessarily through applying, you know, using the common portals. So I think with the current unemployment rate, I think versatile youths have to find ways of navigating this landscape, and that is through using their social capital, through friends, through uh, teachers and uh, tutors, you know, yeah. through friends of uh, their friends. I think that is... Uh, right, right. right. You're, a, you're a law student as well. Have you had a chance to network and interact? Because I believe the biggest place where uh, some of these connections happen are in the networking space. Have you had that chance? Yes, absolutely. I have had uh, that chance. To begin with, um, you know, my university, the University of Nairobi, is actually one of the universities that has the most events and as one person who is running for the University of Nairobi you know, presidency, I think that's something that you're going to reinforce to ensure that our youths and our students you know, access these opportunities. Because uh, events, uh, student-driven events and events organized by universities mm. are actually uh, what exposes students yeah. uh, to the corporate, to even people who can you know, give them projects. Right. Uh, for instance, um, as a law student, Right. I have had the pleasure of attending so many events and I can tell you for a fact that these uh, opportunities uh, to attend events are what gives us uh, you know, opportunities to network with corporates because sometimes uh, you know, when you approach these uh, people through social media platforms, it uh, seems like you're just uh, any other person, mm -hmm. but uh, from an event you have that one-on-one -on -one interaction, that personal interaction which is very important. All right, I'll come back to you and maybe you'll tell us maybe some of the successful ones that yes. you had and what did they amount to. Uh, Steve, uh, yes. how's your experience so far? And maybe if you were to point out the nitty gritties before we get to the youth part at large, yeah. have you had any connections that have helped you to get somewhere? Yes, I have so many. Mm -hmm. And actually connections uh, are what our youths need right now in, yeah. in this world, in our generation. Yeah. Because a lot on what he has said, for example, if you want to approach a company, uh, you'll actually are needed to write an email to them. And before they reply back to you, it takes a lot of time. But when you have someone there, it, he'll he or she will facilitate the process. And uh, that's what connection is all about. Right. And to add on that, connection is why I'm here right now. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> connections is where you're here. Yeah. I love it. But maybe let's get to the nitty-gritty of it. Like, yeah. let's pinpoint. What is a connection really? Uh, what exactly yeah. is it? Okay, a connection basically to me uh, is like you know someone uh, somewhere uh, who can, let's say, offer you something, um, facilitate you something faster. Yeah, 
that's what I can say All for right. me. Your definition of it, before you tell us the successful events you had through connections. Yeah. So, you know, the topic about, uh, you know, this discussion is around social capital. And I think social capital is, uh, you know, the civilized word of connection because when you mention connection, uh, it sounds it's like a negative really connotation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, but uh, I think connection is actually the personal relationships that you build with people. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, for example, if uh, you know, for example, people think that uh, a connection uh, must be somebody big, maybe right. in the corporate or in the political world. Mm -hmm. But you might actually find that's what comes to exactly. Minds. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think and I believe connection is actually even from the uh, you know from the close friends of circle that you have, that is your connection, mm -hmm. and you might actually get a job and even a project from those yeah. friends just by you know bringing in meaningful conversations. Right. Yeah. But you know sometimes, especially, uh, there's somebody who told me, uh, a mentor, you don't choose a mentor, the mentor chooses you. So for example, uh, you want somebody to mentor you. Yeah. And like you mentioned, you must go and interact, let, let them know you or you know them. I don't know who is preaching the, the other to the other. Is it the mentor preaching you to the men mentor preaching the mentee or mentee preaching the mentor? You know, there's a confusion in there. Yeah. But let's say, for example, you want to start uh, that journey of yeah. mentorship. Should you make yourself known to the other person first? Or maybe you should have a brand that already exists and maybe you have something like a card, so you're giving them the card and then they'll get to know you in, in, that, in that space of interaction so that they get, you know, you get to connect and let, like you've said, uh, it's usually a conversation about the corporate space. Yes. But sometimes it's just even having a good neighbor yeah. who can help you in times of need. Yeah. Uh, I remember at the beginning of the year we were having a conversation where we were saying, now that a lot of people are saying January and they're using the word in January, it's going to be hard. <laughs> yeah. It's good to know your neighbor so that the day you don't have unga, water, cooking oil, you know, can they help you out? That's a connection to me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and I would actually like to phrase, uh, you know, this whole discussion around, uh, you know, uh, two levels, yeah? You have the connections that you have uh, with your friends. Those are like, you know, the most basic connections which you ought to have. And secondly, you have the connections that you, uh, you know, look from other people. For example, who are much uh, older and are doing well than you. Because I saw a quote that... Uh, you know, if your circle is not inspiring you, then it is a cage. So I believe that um, in the, uh, you know, in the aspect of looking for a mentor, I think one thing that uh, mentors look for is dedication. Like you really have to be uh, really interested uh, in what they are doing. You know, most of the time, uh, people would like to hear that you are, you know, you know them, you know what they are doing. I think that is one of the most uh, grave mistakes that youths make when mm -hmm. looking for connection. Yeah. They just approach anybody and tell right. them, hey, I'm this, uh, this and this person, I would like a job or I'd like to mentor you, I I'd like you to mentor me. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the most important things that uh, youths have to do while approaching somebody, uh, especially those who are doing well, is they have to show real interest. For example, if I meet a lawyer and uh, he's doing one of the big cases in Kenya, in approaching him to make him my mentor or her my mentor, I'll have to, of course, phrase and tell them, hey, I'm interested in what you're doing. I see yeah. you're doing this and that. I think that actually uh, pacifies the conversation and yeah. they are more willing to mentor and guide you because they see there is an interest that you have and they can nurture that. Yeah, but first of all, it must be a connection because, mm. like you said, you can't just preach yourself to a stranger. Hi, I'm blah, 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 I'm a lawyer, so what? You yeah. Know, we have a billion lawyers in the world, right? Yeah. 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 So I think the connection starts first. Exactly. But then you've told me you must introduce yourself to this mentor. Yes. So I'm wondering if they tell you no, what is the worst that can happen then? You move on to the next, but let me let me divert that to Steve. Uh, yeah. You're also a lawyer, yeah. young lawyer, or rather still at school anyways. Yeah. Uh, maybe you want to get to a space where you want to interact with people like Dan Stan Omari, yeah. who are the most known uh, lawyers in, in Kenya. Yeah. Who else? Who else? <laughs> in, in exactly. Yeah. Uh, I had forgotten he's a lawyer. <laughs> For example, now you want to get to interact with such people. Yeah. You met them. So do you pitch yourself to them? Am I the, you'll have to do something so that they get to notice you, so that you guys connect and he gets to know you more. Okay, first and foremost, our uh, connection uh, through like meeting someone physically is actually the most important rather than on social media platforms All right. because For you, you prefer yeah physical, physical okay. because uh in physical uh you'll get to introduce yourself 
you'll get like uh, to say your brand because me as I'm seated right here I'm a brand of my own so you get to uh, bring that brand to the mentor who you're talking to and uh, yeah. Right. yeah so you should you prefer you go meet them at an event yeah, yeah. at an event rather than on social media but there's people who are having just a bad day um, you know you might be seeing someone on TV or be it a lawyer like you said yeah. like Edwin Sifuna yeah. and you go tell them hey I want you to be my mentor and then he can give you a response of a decade yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you strike a balance between somebody who's having a bad day but yet you want to connect with them and let them know about you but you know there's just so, so many layers so many barriers but also maybe sometimes the barriers is because of you and you just have no idea yeah. the energy you have in between yeah. so how do you break that glass ceiling and then finally get to them now that you guys are youngins and they are still in campus yeah. maybe if you can you can pinpoint some of the nitty-gritty things that you guys maybe are doing already or will do so that you get to that board uh, what I can just say is how you present yourself you see, someone can just talk inside here and how he or she presents uh, himself uh, will matter to the mentor. So me, I just say how you present yourself and uh, how you talk to that mentor matters a lot. Yeah, whatever call. Yeah, thank you. And I actually uh, really want to add on what he has said, that uh, beside the point of presenting yourself in a very uh, good manner, sometimes you can also use strategies like, you know, asking people who might be closer to the mentor yeah. to you know talk uh, to them about you yeah. uh, but most importantly is how you present yourself yes. and i have to insist on speaking about what are your dreams what are your visions you know yeah. these people uh, really want to hear about your dreams and your visions and you know how they can play a role so i think you have to be cl there must be clarity of mind uh, you know, when meeting mentors and people who are possible mentors. Yeah. I want us to get done with that part before we move to a different dynamic. Yeah. Uh, for example, now you become a lawyer. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know, if maybe you guys go to, you, you're done with where you are and then you go to KSL and then yes. finally you get admitted at the bar after yes. that experience. Yes. So for example, if you'll be at that position, uh, where you're being admired by a lot of young other lawyers and they're looking up to you and they want to come and connect with you and tell you things. Maybe what are the, some of the things you'll be looking at before you say yes or oh, this one is a no for me? Okay. Yeah, I think that's um, a really practical question because I have personally seen it even uh, as students when we network with uh, high profile people. Sometimes they may be overwhelmed and that's a very important fact to consider. So. Personally, if I would be in a position, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time, um, you know, and I'll uh, be, uh, uh, you, know, a, 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 you know, a lawyer. That is, I would actually use a strategy of looking for people who are interested in being mentored by me. But most importantly, just uh, introduce a program where I give these people small tasks and then you can identify you know, the students or, you know, the young people that are willing to be mentored and, uh, you know, run away with them. And I think that is one of the strategies that I have seen with one of my lecturers because so many students uh, want to be mentored, but uh, not so many want to put in the work. So yeah. I think... You coming mentioned presentation on that Yes, part. yes, yeah. yes. Really yeah. matters, I believe. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, when you're given a task to work on, you have to uh, be really diligent in it and that actually communicates something and that is the willingness to succeed and even the interest and the passion to succeed in this context, uh, you know, in the legal uh, career. But uh, most importantly, because I believe this discussion is cutting across uh, yeah. all youths in Kenya, yeah. I believe... Uh, someone can uh, you know get a really good mentor by putting in the work uh, uh, notwithstanding their yeah. career trajectory yeah you made me you, that, that putting in work part you made me remember you know we're being told work hard yeah you know but we are not sure how to work hard right yeah but we'll talk about that later uh, as we finish on that part maybe what are some of the things you'll be looking at before okay. you uh, say yes <laughs> i can welcome to my club yeah yeah so first and foremost i'm actually a chairperson of an organization called Legal Minds. Right. And, uh, what happens we, there? Uh, in Legal Minds, we actually mentor... Illegal or legal? Legal. Or legal, okay. legal Minds. We actually mentor young people right. on how to debate uh, mental health. Right. There's something in law we call mooting. Right. Uh, and actually, uh, you see, everyone has a potential. So when people come to you, 
someone may be bad, but when you mentor them, they'll actually change. Right. So me, I won't be focusing on how you present yourself, right. but I want you'll to... You'll overlook it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so be like, because you have something, right? Yeah, yeah, because okay. I want... You see, the point of mentoring someone is actually to change someone from how you found them. Yeah, yeah so that's, all, that's my goal. All right, interesting, yeah. fantastic. Now let's make it more lighter. Relationships. <laughs> Relationships. Uh, have you guys ever heard of a story? Somebody said, eh, nilikutana na umu, second introduce na umu, damn, na saizi, tuna date. Ata si tuja date. Si ata tume date, tume oana, sisi ni wife na husband. Yeah. Uh, is it possible for a connection to lead to a meaningful relationship that can lead to a marriage? And does it work? Especially in this day and age we're living. Knowing someone who knows someone who is good and then it clicks and then finally it becomes happily ever after. Do you believe it works? Yeah, for me I believe it works because uh, currently I'm dating and the person I'm dating it was through a connection. Yeah. So, I, yeah, so nigga, I, you I just I dropped bullets. <laughs> <laughs> so right. so I, I believe it works. Uh -huh. Yeah. So how was it? Just paint for us the picture of it, nitty gritties. What happened? Who was it? Da 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 da. <laughs> so I, I had a friend, uh, a girlfriend, uh, who referred me to her friend. And we started talking all of a sudden, and uh, what we call in university talking stage. Mm. So after, <laughs> so after talking stage, we decided to date. Yeah. And it's working. Yeah, it's, it's, it's flourishing. Yeah, that's a good example. What about you? <laughs> Is it, do you believe that connections? You you know someone, someone knows someone, someone knows someone, someone they chain goes, and then finally, you get linked up to a very beautiful person, and finally, it's happily ever after. Well, I think uh, that's very obvious, yeah, because um, I don't know whether maybe our generation is a bit different, but uh, from the stories that I hear, even from our parents, even those, uh, you know, guys who are advanced in age, you will hear that most of them, uh, in terms of the relationships that they have, that it's, uh, you know, a wife and a husband, most of them met through uh, events uh, or through uh, friends, uh, you know, I mean, uh, that point cannot be overstated. In fact, most relationships are, you know, people meet in yeah. social events and it is through their friends and the friends of friends. Yeah. Yeah. You see another example of Malisafi and the chain, 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 chain. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that example like you, you knew this person, knows this one, knows this one, it's a cycle. It's a love triangle or something. Well, uh, I think there is that. Um, uh, but. Uh, I think, uh, you know, in the common sense, uh, uh, you'd uh, want to uh, get into a relationship with somebody you know. Uh, whether or not they were dating your friends is another business. But I think the most important thing is, you know, you date somebody you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me give you another, uh, another interesting perspective. There's somebody, those, those are those, I think it was last, last year, but one, uh, I was at an event and they were serving food. And ilikuwa kama how Joanne na cook haikufiki. I swear to the universe, haikufiki. So unless you know this guy, ataongea na hule ongea na like three other people and then food itakufikia two penye uko pap. The rest, what are your their view sasa? So in terms of now making it um, more lighthearted, when it comes to even our normal in, inter interest individual, interpersonal relationships, sometimes before you make it to some certain spaces, even to the stupidest of the stupidest thing, lazima at least unajua mtu manyata. Like, ukingoje tu kufikia, ikufiki. So do you feel like maybe it's, it's, it's a bad thing? Unaona, ukonza abana. Si lazima ukona jona na chef, ama yo mother, ukona self food. Mwana tu siku line at the rest, ikufiki. Lazima ukona jona na kuku. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, that's a very interesting, uh, you know, uh, uh, situation around there. And that is now how we get to, you know, the morality of uh, things to do with connection. Uh, sometimes uh, connections seem like you're depriving of uh, opportunities for others. So, well, I think that is a point that we, you know, we could uh, look in both ways. Uh, it is good to somebody else. It's bad for, you know, somebody else. But uh, I think sometimes it's so important to uh, uh, consider or put in mind, put into consideration, you know, the, the neighbor who is next to you. Because, uh, you know, for example, if you're speaking, uh, if you're skipping uh, the line, for example, now in such an event, for example, uh, in a wedding, 
you know the cook. Well, you're speaking... Or even maybe the cook is your mom, your auntie, exactly. or even your grandma. And there's a way that, you know, when it's our mama, especially when <laughs> your chance, they have a way of shoving things kwa yeah. bag nini nini yeah. fikia watu. Adi mtu wata hako kuja event, lakini atapata chapati kaa sita. Yeah. Lakini wewe uli kwa hapa, wata utaona hata moja kote. You know? Yeah. And, and I think now in that uh, situation, you, you might actually be losing a very good connection, you know, by... Uh, trying to find means because you know somebody you know uh, so you're trying to uh, cut corners so I think while looking for connection it is always important to be very ethical uh, you don't cut corners or you don't uh, injure people don't people make feel bad so I think uh, it brings about a point of being just reasonable yeah. because uh, you know in trying to get something you must also consider your neighbor and that neighbor might yeah. actually be your next connection. Do you even really consider that? <laughs> You're like me or Chani Pante, that's yeah. it. Yeah. You don't even care about the next person breathing next to you. Yeah, I think that is... Uh, it's, it's like a Kenyan thing. I don't know if you've seen those memes, uh, Kenyan memes. Yeah. Mean, have you, uh, Steve, have you seen um, these memes that talk, uh, they talk about Umaona your video ama haona connection. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, I do. It means that if you're not in that web, yeah. that uh, in that community of people yeah, that yeah. are aware of that, yeah. definitely will not get to see it. True. Uh, yeah. I don't know what it means to you, though. <laughs> okay, for me, uh, it means, uh, for example, uh, if you don't know the people who like create those memes, etc., uh, you the the meme won't reach you in time. Like after people have already seen the meme. Uh, around one month, then it reaches you. So it means like you don't have that connection, or you're not uh, in that group of people who make those memes. Yeah. yeah. But I feel the flavor of a meme is ikikfikialet. When somebody is telling you, and you have the opportunity to laugh it out yeah. loud, yeah. <laughs> uh, as compared to like seeing it. Also, but there's also the joy and 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 and, and the flavor of seeing it for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Anyways, that's according to me, though. <laughs> right. Okay. For me, I think. Uh, seeing a meme first is actually good for it's me because, yeah, yeah. because when you seated with your friends, they start saying something, you'll like be the odd one out there. All right. Yeah. Which is a good thing. He who loves best loves last. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. story for another day. Yeah. Now, uh, still on the relationship part, um, like when we mentioned story, Amalisafi and the chain, chain, chain. But you know, you can be having very crazy relationships yeah. and connections that are leading you to just, okay. you know, in a ditch each and all the time. Do you feel like sometimes you should filter out uh, this network of people that you are connecting with in terms of where it's a job, in a relationship, like we've said, in a Zakupeata connection, Zakuenda Maju. Everybody wants to go outside the country yeah. Yeah, in yeah. Kenya, yeah. apparently. I don't know. What, what's the joy of being outside country? But, you know, we had a guest here, he's told us a good experience experience and yeah. also the upside and the downside of it. Yeah, so is it good to filter sometimes? Yeah, it's And maybe good. what is the template you can use to filter out? You're on my team or you're not? <laughs> I don't know if it's also a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, okay, I'll first use an example. Uh, yeah. the, the speaker who was actually here right. uh, talked about football. Right. And uh, in football, uh, there's always the starting 11. So for example, if you have a connection with the coach and you're not actually a good player, Sometimes you'll be starting the game, but someone yeah. who uh, is a good footballer, yeah. but like doesn't have that connection with the coach, yeah. won't be starting a game. So, so in fact, this guy is now the star, and the one yeah. who is yeah. the scale yeah. is now the star. Yeah. Connections, you see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, connections all the way. So right. basically for me, I think, uh, for connections, uh, you'll actually have to filter. Like you see the ones which uh, will help you, like uh, build your own brand, etc. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in, the, in this day and age, uh, let's go back to the story of part a job. Uh, I believe everyone who is graduating somewhere, yeah. you either have a mindset of starting your own company yeah. and employing yourself business-wise, whatever, yeah. entrepreneurship, the journey, or you want to be employed at a company. So you'll definitely, like you guys are in law, and law it takes a lot of years yeah. to yeah. climb up the ladder before you get admitted to the bar, become an advocate, and many other you know professions that you guys become. Yeah. So for a person who believes that, you know, They'll definitely get a job, or maybe let me let me give an interesting example. In in the media in the media space, they usually do a lot of auditions before yeah. they consider you for any spot. Sometimes they do, but sometimes it's it's a connection. Like yeah. you are in another station, they know you are excellent. You are definitely coming here. So your name sells you and your work. But sometimes they do auditions, so they filter out. 
And then uh, there could be people who have so much potential. They have the skill, they sound the part, they look the part, but they will not be picked. Yeah. And somebody just out of the blues that maybe the masses never expected. You see them saying good morning to you, welcome to the show, and you're like, Jesus, what is this? Kumba, this guy had connections. Yeah. They were auditioning just for publicity, but behind the scenes, in fact, he was already at the company already one month. They're just putting out a publicity to ensure that you know everybody knows of this job. So do you feel like in this day and age, sometimes connections can't work sometimes, but they also work at the same time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, just to go back to a uh, backtrack on what you said, that uh, whenever you graduating, there are two options. It's either you start your business or you get into employment. Interesting enough, both situations require, you know, connection. Uh, because, for example, let's uh, take an instance whereby somebody wants to start a business. Uh, to many, it would seem like this person doesn't need connection. But you realize that when you're starting a business, one, you need the starting capital. The capital, you might actually not have it. So you need your networks, say your yeah. parents, your mentors, who are going to give you the capital, which yeah. is very important. Second, Bank you, loans. Exactly. <laughs> Bank loans. And sometimes yeah. you might not even have a good uh, credit rating, uh, yeah. so to say. So you might need uh, help from friends and family. Yes. Secondly, you might also need clients. And these clients come from your friends or the friends of your friends, which is very important. Yeah. When you're employed... Uh, when you choose to get into employment, again, uh, sometimes you may need connection, even in the initial stages. You might not uh, uh, use connection to get that job, but you realize that sometimes companies may not even advertise in their portals that they are recruiting uh, yeah. employees. Mm -hmm. might actually be somebody who is inside uh, the company who might actually call for applications by yeah. asking their friends, hey, mm -hmm. do you know a young uh, lady right. or a young man who can do this really well. And that yes. is now where personal relationships come in, and that is what we call connection. Right. So, I yeah. like that example. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So nice. uh, back to your point that connections might work. Sometimes they might not work. Mm -hmm. But I think the overriding objective for every young person should be actually to build very strong social capital, right. build relationships so that, you know, even after interacting with somebody, you know, when uh, someone is living there like, you know, that's a really, you know, he's a really good young man or a, a really good young lady. Right. And, uh, you know, you never know uh, who gets the opportunities. And once a person might, uh, you know, get uh, an opportunity, they might actually remember, oh, there was this young lady or yeah. this young man I met and he was doing something which is almost similar, you know, to, uh, yes. uh, mm -hmm. to, to this, uh, to what I have gotten. So nice. they might refer you. So I think yes. the point here should be actually being open-minded. Right. Yeah. Because there's a, there's, there can be a lot of possibilities of yeah, absolutely. anything happening. Yeah. Uh, let me come back to you, Steve. Uh, yes. Do you feel like uh, in, in terms of when, when we stand in parts of connection, sometimes there's people who innocently just lose it, yeah. and maybe they'll never get it because they waited and trusted the process and they had to go through the system of, ah, they've advertised for the job. Let me just send my CV to yeah. the email yeah. as compared to let me walk to the company and pitch myself physically now that yeah. they have announced, you know, there's a job op opportunity or a job entry. Yeah. You feel like there's people who will innocently not get the opportunity because this person had an upper hand or a third eye in seeing the opportunity as compared to you who's outside, you waited, you sent your CVs, no response, and maybe you are the best fit candidate for the opportunity as well. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll actually use an example. For me, actually, when I joined first year, you see, when you want to go, let's say, to the parliament, you need to write an email. And actually, if you don't have someone there, that email might How do you write the email to? You, the clerk. All right. Of the, the National Assembly. National Assembly. Yeah. Right. And they get to approve it. Yeah. All right. So yeah. basically, if you, if you don't have someone there, you'll wait for that uh, reply for ages. But uh, I, I know someone there, the assistant clerk. So right. we applied to go to parliament. And actually, it just took one day, and we got a reply back. So yeah. basically, what I can say, connection is, is everything. And mm. uh, what can make a connection fail, basically? You see, some, uh, what the mistake people do outside here is the connections people look for, the, these big connections. Like, I need to know an MP. I need to know uh, a governor. So, yeah, but if you look for connection is just what he just said here, like your neighbor, your friend, 
Those yeah. are the things that matter. Oh, si lazima ujue Kanye West na Jay-Zinzo. The music yako is sell. You can still sell. Yeah, yeah. So to add on what you said, like yes. if uh, there's a job opportunity posted somewhere and Aye. you apply everything, like the CV, you send yeah. an email, you're seated there just waiting for a reply from them, it will take time. But yeah. if uh, there's someone who has gone there, presented he, uh, themselves physically, uh, yeah. they'll actually have the upper hand to mm. get uh, that but job. Okay. Uh, what happens to a person when you say, Manza si na connections. Ata si juu wana watu wana fanyazi. Ata si juu aki aki ata si juu aki. You know it's it's always like that. Aki ata si juu. Ata si juu kulendaze. But uh, maybe you were just to present yourself like you're saying and boom, dude, you hack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what happens to this person? And what should they be doing? Maybe are they behind schedule? Are they lost? <laughs> do they need to do something? <laughs> okay, for me, I can say I'll also use another example. You see, even when you, you are traveling, when you're seated in a matatu or a bus, you can't know the person you're, sit, you're seated next to. Actually, yeah. there was a time I was seated next to a lawyer, and I didn't know. I actually right. knew the moment I was actually boarding uh, right. the, the bus. Uh -huh. So what I can say is uh, people always have this fear of socializing and right. networking. So basically, oh, there's fear. Yeah, people have fear, like uh, they don't have the confidence. Oh, confidence. Yeah. Woga confidence yeah. is out to Yeah, okay. so like when yeah. you see someone there, you don't know how you'll start, how you'll present yourself. Yeah. So basically what I can say is as youth, uh, we should actually know on how to present ourselves to someone. Yeah. Because uh, in this generation, it's just connections. Yeah. yeah, you made me remember. You know, you're walking on the street and you meet someone who knows you. Yeah. They'll be like, ah, isura and shay on a male, mm. blah, 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 blah. But also the design yeah. and the style of approach and how they're saying yeah, it true. can be so annoying yeah. or really welcoming. Yeah. But then there's just people who are easy breezy. The yeah. moment they say hi, you're clicking. Uh, I don't know if you guys have worked with someone and you're like, no, don't even pronounce because already it's already a bad day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just giving an example, not that it's happening here. It's not, hey, bro, we are in heaven, cloud nine. <laughs> but uh, for example, like I've given you for a person who doesn't have these connections, I make a two up of like, me is it Is it possible they exist, such mm -hmm. people? Yeah. Maybe I know you too, like a little bit of my turn. Somebody to just, bro, you need to wake up, you need to do one, two, three. But Hana yeah. Wom Tua. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. how to go that route. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they do exist. That I must say. And uh, you know, as young people, we really have a very big advantage because we are in the age of uh, the digital era. So to say, we have social media. And just to use an example like uh, Steve is using, uh, there was this guy who got a first class honors in, uh, I think, BCom from Masaimara University. Right. And this guy, uh, a blogger on Twitter actually posted his video because this guy just uh, created a video, told yes, his yeah. audience that, uh, you know, I graduated with a first class. Right. I also did a CPA. I was among the best students. I think in he city. saw the video. Yeah, and he has several certificates. Absolutely. Uh, a short montage just yeah, explaining. Yeah, yeah. And you right. see that that's a very creative way to right. even get a network because right. you can actually use your social media platforms right. to look for networks. Yes. And somebody might see it and they might be interested mm -hmm. and they might repost, uh, you know, you might find a, a, a big shot uh, blogger or even yeah. uh, uh, someone who is in uh, the corporate space or even in the political space and they might see it and they might actually mm -hmm. see that, uh, you know, you are a young man or a young lady trying to mm -hmm. succeed and they might actually be interested in helping you out. So I yeah. think you have to utilize all the channels and all the means that you have. We also have another channel called, uh, it's an app called LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn. Yeah. LinkedIn, yeah, yeah LinkedIn. Good I know, networking. yeah, I know most of the youths are, uh, uh, quote unquote, fear. Gen Z's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I had a, com now that you've brought it up, I had a conversation on a podcast, I think in podcast, like in a Quambox and a Kerry Martin, they yeah. were talking about Gen Z's go to LinkedIn to hook up, yeah. not to network. <laughs> they, are, they are finding lovers on LinkedIn. But for us, way, way back, it, it's a place where you are applying a job via LinkedIn. Yeah. Personally, I've gotten a gig via LinkedIn. Like I sent uh, the application via my page by just sending the profile. And yeah. I was called for it. Yeah. So I can imagine now if a Gen Z is getting a relationship on LinkedIn, like, <laughs> hi, um, 
Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's a very interesting, uh, you know, discussion because yeah. uh, I know there are so many youths who have actually utilized LinkedIn to get jobs and connection. Because one thing about LinkedIn is that it uses analytics. So when you feature maybe your profile, um, you know, uh, using certain um, keywords, for example, you're interested in media or interested in law or interested in, for example, uh, economics, you're interested in uh, tax. That actually, and the LinkedIn analytics will actually bring you simil people who are doing almost similar things and you may connect with them and you know they might uh, see you are interested in this field and then you might approach a conversation and then make it friendly make it slow i know uh, you know young people also want uh, quick things uh, because of also the you know that the thing with social media it uh, makes you expect things in a really quick manner yeah. but i think one thing that you also have to do while you're connecting with people on linkedin or any other social media platform is that you have to be patient you have to be patient in building a relationship so it can be a, you know a give take relationship yeah. or a win win relationship yeah. Yeah. yeah i believe in building capacity yeah. because um, anyone who holds a very meaningful position they have the capacity to yeah right so maybe like you said maybe a lot of young people do not Maybe some of them have not b yet built the capacity, but they want to go viral very fast. But also going viral and capacity, I think they don't go in tandem. Yeah. Like you can go viral for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Depending on how the algorithm just picks it up. Yeah. But anyways, story for another day. Let's, uh, let's delve to the people of Koushago. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, somebody graduated like five years ago, a Koko in the interiors. And maybe they definitely have never had this conversation. Yeah, networking. They even don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I'll, 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 I'll divert it to you, Steve. Yeah. What can they do? And then also you realize yeah. uh, there are so many barriers that, they are, that, that they've experienced. Yeah. Some of there are so many things holding them back. And some, sometimes they're not aware. I believe awareness is the first thing to snap out of a disaster is awareness. And what to do next, either to stay still yeah. or do something to snap out of it, even if it's not faster. Yeah. So if for somebody who has no skills, no tools of navigating, building capacity, and maybe walking out of that dark pit before they get out here, and get to connect and get these good things we are talking about here on TV. What can they do? You can imagine the interiors of yeah, the interiors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what I believe uh, they can do actually, uh, you see first and foremost, I'll, I'll, I'll use this example, uh, when you enter into the university, all you think about is just uh, doing my exams and getting a first class honors, but you don't think about interacting. You see, even you can be seated with someone who, uh, let's say, is uh, prominent somewhere else and you don't know. You just, yeah. uh, what you ask is their name and that's it. So for the people who are there in upcountry and uh, in those universities, they, their lecturers actually can even be the connection they are looking for. Because yeah. what I know, uh, the lecturers we have, they have, let's say, three or uh, two jobs uh, they are doing. So they basically know people, or even they can actually talk to their cousins, etc. Yeah. Yeah. I've, 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 I've heard of stories where you know somebody just finished school and it's done like you are to finish school and present the papers on the table. Yeah. And be thanks, Dad and Mom, for taking me to school. But me, I just wanted to chill. Is it possible like somebody can be that lazy? Maybe it's a disease, because I I can't even fathom. Like you can go to uni like you guys have gone for over six years or five or whatever the amount of time and you finish and you present the papers then you sit back and you fold your arms and just watch things fall apart is it possible to have youths that are experiencing that or they're just going through seasons in life where they don't want to do anything or it's just whatever i don't care i'm done thanks that's it and what can they do or what can be done to them I believe beatings can help, <laughs> <laughs> even if it's not like you know, you send the rest <laughs> or prayers. Because I can only imagine, like you guys, you've been to school for over five years, yeah. and then you're done, and you sit back and fold your arms and watch everything unfold, go south. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe we have uh, such youths, and I think uh, the approach that we should actually take is to hold their hand, and uh, you know that is where the point of mentorship comes in. Uh, now, in the context of the rural setting, 
uh, you might uh, imagine that uh, in the rural setting we don't have, sometimes we might lack even, uh, uh, you know, network or Wi-Fi to connect these people, you know, to the outside world. But right. I think um, in the rural setting we also have, uh, you know, very organized uh, uh, systems and structures that can actually help them, you know, if they feel lethargic, they can actually get into, you know, even their churches you know, where we have uh, mentorship uh, programs or even counseling programs. Mm. So those are very important social structures that exist to support these young people. Because sometimes uh, somebody might have finished school, but, you know, they feel very tired or they did a course that they were not, uh, you know, very enthusiastic about it. Or so they, were think, forced to. Yeah. or they were forced they to. They wanted to be a DJ, but yeah. like a force, you a lawyer. The yeah. torture, the trauma. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. can only imagine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you wanted to be a DJ when a DJ in school, and then yeah. you're forced into law school. Absolutely. And you have to keep up with the torture. Hell. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think uh, for such a person, they might actually rely on the existing social structures, like, uh, you know, church or even groups like friend groups because maybe they're not compatible yeah. they don't want nothing to do with that you know there's 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 there's, there's young people that are just irritable like hakuna kitu inampendeza everything is just a trigger yeah makes them sad depressed all those things yeah. Yeah, we say oh i'm depressed i'm sad da, 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 da. yeah so anaza saidi kaje for real ni maombi tu i believe hapo <laughs> the last <laughs> the last <laughs> the last resolution yeah uh -huh. And and that's a very difficult situation because uh, for some for you to change you have to be willing to you know to change, change internally yeah. you know mm -hmm. for an external party to come and help you out you have to be very willing uh, yeah. in your mind and in your heart that you really want to change so yeah. I think that's a very uh, difficult uh, situation yeah. and it's happening yeah. and they even say Ali Rogwa you know it's happening in Rushago mm -hmm. stories are Rogwa they're like real movies. They, yeah. In fact, Netflix should visit these interior places. Stories are, uyu ali rogo na hule, akarogo na hule, ama hii familia wa kifikanga, sijui, class 8, something mm. happens. I don't know if you guys have heard of that yeah. such yeah. stories. Yeah. They say familia mtu wa graduate, hapatangi job, mm -hmm. something happens. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, could be generational or just maybe it's a mental thing. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like you say, they should go to church and yeah, visit. Yeah, absolutely. Those yeah. are social structures that existing. Yeah. We have like so many problems that even uh, youths back in the rural area face. We have, for example, drug abuse. You remember the case where I think uh, quite a number of people died in Kirinyaga yes. uh, due to illicit brew. illicit brew. So I think such challenges exist and that is why we, you know, have now other, you know, uh, structures like even the government to come in and, you know, play a part to ensure yeah. that, you know, our youth uh, you know, do not... Uh, uh, capsize and destroy right. their lives mm -hmm. at such an early age. Yeah. Absolutely, I believe that. I believe that. Steve, yes. uh, you guys uh, are still in campus, anyways. Yeah. Uh, do, from the setting and the experience and just the energy. Uh, for me, I used to observe a lot of people in campus. There's a place I used to sit and just observe because I used to be on radio, anyways. Yeah. So I, I, I used to just observe people and kind of na watu yini smart. They used to work together. Watu yini kwa nafanya TV. They used to work together. Watu radio. It was like people working in communities, mm -hmm. and there's those people who are lonely, like somebody who's walking along all day every day, and then you realize they also miss out on a lot of events. Una skia kulo kwa nafreshes nights. Something happened. Yeah, na iskia tu kama story ya cinema. From what you guys have observed in campus, what do you think um, breaks the bridge or breaks? Uh, brings a difference between somebody who's social, bubbly and loud and out there, and a person who's just chilled, nonchalant, and it's just about them and their world. Like, they're lost into this bubble of oblivion, and nothing literally excites them. And there's nothing you can do about it, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll start. Uh, when I joined um, university, actually, I didn't know anyone in that university, actually. So uh, the first time during the orientation, uh, I met someone. So uh, the someone I met introduced me to someone. So uh, by the end of the orientation, I knew seven people. Uh -huh. And actually, the good thing about uh, networking and knowing so many people, uh, it will make you know, uh, like you'll be aware of everything that is happening. You'll know uh, if there is events, etc. But uh, when you're actually lonely, uh, you won't know people actually. Like uh, you won't know everything that is happening in school. And something we call like class in a bounce. Uh, yeah. You'll just come to school and you, you actually don't know that. Yeah, the lecture hall. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's no class that day. 
So, <laughs> so yeah. what, what I can say actually is a university can actually, during the first uh, days of orientation, the first years, they can actually uh, hold a public speaking about the importance of networking. Uh, you see, networking is not about like the big people, you can actually mm. network with uh, the students in ha you have in class. I'm a theater story in a part of yeah, theater Literally, story. Literally, just yeah. uh, I remember the guest up early summer, finding your tribe. Yeah, I, I like that part because I'm a reader. Yeah. You know, finding a community of people that yeah. you identify with yeah. and just joining it, yeah, it true. already makes you a powerful person. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think, uh, what have you observed from your campus? What sets students apart, those that are out and loud, <laughs> yeah. and those that, I think the word is seclusion, like yeah. you've secluded yourself from the rest of the team. Yeah. So your team's, your team me, you know, not a lot of say, it's <laughs> team me or me. <laughs> it's you riding solo all yeah. day, every day. Yeah. But I also believe, uh, there's, there's a quote, you mentioned the word lonely. Yeah. There's a quote that I said, being alone does not mean you're lonely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, being alone does not mean you're alone. It just means you're on a journey. I don't know the journey. I don't want to imagine. <laughs> but uh, I, I tend to hold on to that part. Like, being alone does not mean you're lonely, right? Yeah. I think it's also from a lyric from an R&B star. Yeah. But uh, from what you've observed, uh, what do you think sets apart students that are all out and those that have secluded themselves? Yeah, and I like the fact that, uh, you know, Steve mentioned about uh, finding your tribe. Uh, I was reading a book. It's actually the guest who was here before. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And overstated by uh, Steve. So I have read this book uh, called The Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss. And I he actually yeah. emphasized there are stories that uh, have been to put together through interviews. And people are talking how they've succeeded. And most of them actually mention finding your own tribe or the people that believe in you. Uh, yeah. Now, back to your question. We do have students uh, who are like that. And, yeah. uh, you know, in my inter interaction with uh, students in school, because some find me very extroverted and uh, very outgoing, uh, mm. and they always ask me, oh, how do you become this outgoing? How do you uh, become, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, you know, somebody who is always uh, talking to people and networking with people? Yeah. But I think, um, based on our personalities, yeah. everything can work out for you, whether you are introverted or you are extroverted. I think if uh, you find a team or exactly. a community that yeah. identifies with you, yeah, because right. definitely uh, even the people who are silent and uh, who appear to be quote unquote lonely might mm. not actually be lonely. Yeah, uh, in fact, they're having fun. They're having a ball. Yeah, oh, nigga, they are partying. Yeah. <laughs> so the most important thing for me is uh, yeah. just find your your tribe. Right. Or, you know, in campus, uh, mm. you know, the word is uh, crew. Find your crew. Yeah. I'm yeah. a click. <laughs> click young. Or click. Mm. They might actually help you even to find jobs, to even find relationships, yeah. uh, such. Yeah, and um, even just easy, easing it up and opening up. You know, when we were in campus, there's people who, who were starving, to yeah. be honest. Two hundred pesos a lunch, I'm mm -hmm. 100 pesos a, a, a supper, yeah. and the rest or even breakfast. Yeah. But if you're friends with somebody who has money, trust me, <laughs> yeah. I've been through campus and I know <laughs> you can eat well. Okay, yeah. you're out of reasonable. Yeah. If you want a hangaika, come on out. So I think uh, it, 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 it's a, it's a double-edged sword yeah. that cuts mm -hmm. on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And also a lot of people maybe think it's just, you know, in Algerian people, maybe they're in a cult or something. Now that we have these conspiracy yeah. theories and so many things happening. Also, it could be even from family. You're told, Menda University, we see join blah, 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 blah. But maybe they're just, they're just people like you. Uh -huh. You ought to know what think. <laughs> but also now, how do, you, how do you beat this demon out of this person who has this mindset? I'm using it as, as Euphemia, anyways. Yeah. Beating the demon. <laughs> so how do you beat the demon out of this person? Uh, when you're on a very strong belief system that interacting with some certain people will, now if you make it religious, I say, ah, ita nifanya niende hell, siju ita, ita funga progress yangu. And some of these beliefs are so strong that you can't even convince this person there's possibility of bigger, greater, grander things away from what you know, what you've learned. Like breaking out of that shell will take you ages. But sometimes it's a journey, I believe. So how do you help such a comrade? Okay, uh, what I'll, I'll say actually is uh, you, tell, you give the comrade an example of someone uh, who has been successful but it does not come from the things like, uh, let's say, the worshipping ETC, but it's something that is real. Yeah, 
that's what I can say. You just uh, give an example. And uh, you see, changing someone's mind is something difficult. But yeah. uh, after you've given the example, like they'll start changing a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That can be really hard for me, though. I'm just saying, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, that's a very important discussion, actually. And you're mentioning even about uh, comrades who are, you know, suffering, uh, yeah. you know, through, you know, lack of even finances. You know, it's yeah. very interesting. And it's a thing. You guys call it Kuinama, right? Kuinama, yeah. 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 Mm, I know yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's very interesting that you're holding this discussion because even as I am running for, you know, the University of Nairobi presidential seat, okay. one of my thematic areas is to actually look at student welfare and uh, mental health issues because the issues that we're discussing around here are on student welfare how are students uh, are they faring well in school in their yeah. campuses with mm. regards to food water basic sanitation you know th uh, that's one thing that uh, you know uh, we are really passionate about and we have to look at it and secondly is mental health mental health uh, you know there are people who are existing but they are not existing, they're just yeah. there because yeah. of uh, issues to do with, uh, you know, uh, mental challenges, uh, just because of, you know, very difficult situations. And I think uh, that's something that we're going to do to just establish and come up with mental health structures or and mentorship structures that actually uplift these students, yeah. you know, from their base that they are in, uh, you know, to just become, uh, yeah. uh, you know, a responsible uh, students who right. can go out there, look for opportunities, and mm. even succeed and nice. believe in the beauty of their dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, getting a comrade to open up is, I think Difficult. they should have a tutorial <laughs> <laughs> on Netflix <laughs> or YouTube, rather, <laughs> because I can only imagine, you know, this guy I'm telling you, is, he's been starving, he doesn't have a good relationship with the dad. Yeah. And I think uh, I, I, I asked several guys when we were still in campus, most, most Maboi child wengi, they're not in a good relationship with their dads, mostly. Either Alimambe, oh, Nilu Kwingi is a university, fight, you're a man. But this guy needs mentorship. He still needs advice. He still needs financial support. Yeah. He still needs even a word of encouragement. But uh -huh. But no, they, they didn't give, any, give you the tools. You know, Pambana, at least they've given you the tools. Uh -huh. They have demonstrated to you how to fight. Yeah. You can pick up the fight. I believe in that a thousand percent. For me, my kid will never be that kid that goes to campus and they're <laughs> calling. They need 10K and I'm like, no, you're a man. No, you're still my baby until you're 40. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you mentioned uh, the point about, uh, you know, just uh, comrades having good relationship with their parents, exactly. with their parents, mm -hmm. especially their dads. And I remember something I was uh, watching. Mm -hmm. uh, they say that uh, a man has three stages or three relationships right. with their dad, depending mm -hmm. on their age. So you have the point, your dad is your hero. Then right. after you grow up, then your dad is your villain. Although that does Ooh. not happen for everybody. I'm just, uh, you know, yeah. talking about what I saw. Because yeah. it's very different. But so many, so many boy child on a PTA, you're villain part. Yeah. Trust then, me. Even who are older and they're done with campus, they're even working. Yeah. Some of them are not talking to their dads at all. Yeah. Because of the betrayal. It started with your dad. Yeah. Mm. So, and then the final part is, you know, the humanizing part. Uh, yeah. You know, somebody who you know just remembers that oh, my dad is human. All yeah, right. you know, he's not growth, perfect. You may grow through everything like you've yeah. seen all the worst. Absolutely. And now you're calling yourself for a meeting. You're like, ah, yeah. he was just a human being, also like me, <laughs> going through a stage. Yeah. But I believe it will take you time to come to that realization will, because yeah. also the, when you look at the mindset of of an 18 to let's say 25 year old man, mm. gentleman rather, there are so many facets of you that are underdeveloped. Experiences, your experiences are still low. Capacity is still low. Wisdom is still low. Relationship are normal. You know, you're dating, da, 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 but you're not maturely dating. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I don't know. They, you know, they said for men, it be maturity begins at 30. I don't know. But <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Yeah. But also when you look at that mindset of, a, of, of such a young man, they still need a lot. Uh -huh. They still need to be given. They still need to be shown how to look for it. Uh -huh. They still need to be supported. But it's not happening. I don't know if you've had friends. I'm yeah. uh, stories of, you know, a, a, a comrade. Hey, man, say, mzae hampendi. Adu na murumia. Na shanga, hey, ulizali wako familia mbaya nini. But it's not your own doing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it just happened and there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what I can say is uh, like a father should know their, their kid very well. You see, there is someone, when you uh, leave them out here, they'll actually know how to handle uh, 
themselves like uh, they will actually look even for a job to like uh, sustain themselves but uh, there's someone when you leave them out there by themselves like they won't even they don't know how even to manage their finances yeah. so actually the father should actually know their their kids and actually uh, father should not like leave their kids out here because uh, in university uh, kids out here actually struggle you will yeah. find someone uh, who just takes a uh, lunch and uh, he love to go another day so that yeah. you can take the lunch again. It's just lunch, lunch, lunch. No so what breakfast. could be happening between that person? Either they offend, yeah. Ama, the dad doesn't like them. And also if you, if you want to, maybe if you were to delve deeper into this issue yeah, yeah. and see how it's festering, nini yeah. nezekwele happen between you and a dad? Because you're not 30. You know, you know when you're a man and you're 30 yeah. and you're still crying, at yeah. least they'll give you a side eye. Bana, yani 30, bra, 30, umekukifanya nini miaka zingine zote. But you're just 21, you're a baby. So what, what for me, what I can say first, uh, these two, these two issues here, one can be the kid because you see when you're living alone, you're actually given uh, money to sustain you for a whole month. You're given money to sustain you for a whole month. And uh, if you don't know how to manage uh, those finances, then it means uh, there'll, there'll be problems. There'll be problems. Then the second issue can actually be your dad. Your dad basically can tell you, like, now you're grown up, you need to, like, uh, look for a job also to sustain you. But you see, the problem is uh, when you're told that way, at least you can even have your talk. I talk with your dad, and let's say uh, you don't know how to find even that job, etc. So yeah. those are the two issues that may arise in that scenario. Right, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, we have asked you a question on social media platforms. Kwa mi tandao za kijami, connection zako zimawai kukusaidia aje ama haona. And these guys have given us good examples of what it means to have or to not have and the importance of it as well. On the responses, uh, Triza Noni, I believe, yes, Noni, anasema, good morning, good morning to you. Eric Maina anasema, morning, Kirinyaga well represented. But the they just banned bars from Kirinyaga by Governor <laughs> uh, White Guru. Uh, I saw, I saw, I saw the, the update. So, sorry, what when you know, Pigasherena Pombe, too bad. Uh, Luis Ebilori, Ebilori, okay. Amasema kutoka Busia, Amagoro and Kondani, shout out to you. Aha, uh -huh. Lois Molly, good morning, good morning. Uh, Alibaba, Coast Gay, Ezra, and I say my Moist Bridge, ex and well represented. I believe maybe that's where you work. All right, next, uh, Charlie Charles, and I say my representing County 019 in Yeri County. Kalami Valley look beautiful, Sana. Definitely she's gotten it. Abraham Loco Rito, right, and I say my watching from Karatina. Thank you so much. Uh, Carlton Japanese Abdul Sutro. Hey, bra, sawa. Yo jina ni, ni, ni kubwa sana. Ni kondani kama kawaida ni kiwa Orian Kendube. Mm -hmm. I'm watching live from Outer 40 Jesus Busia. Wow, that's a street. Anajita Rebashir Were wa Busia. So, sawa Rebashir, tumepanta. Thank you so much for watching. Now, as we exit, guys, um, as I want to give your 30 seconds parting shot. Don't exit more than 30. What should young people do to ensure that they hack it in life? In a generation where there's TikTok, Facebook, X, and the rest. In fact, there's more coming. There's more. AI is here. The likes of chat, GPT, and the rest. What should they do in 30 seconds for them to succeed? Okay, Steve, uh, first. So to end, uh, there's someone I know, a very good speaker called uh, Walubengo. And oh, Oreta Walubengo. Yeah, yeah. and right. uh, actually I listened to him and he said, uh, when he was young, he wanted to be like a good speaker. So he listed down at least five speakers uh, who he wants to look upon. And actually he ensured before he reaches around 20 years, uh, he meets all the speakers. So what I can say is uh, people out here should know how to socialize and network and actually it will bring impact right. in their life. Yeah. Call it. Uh, thank you so much for hosting me, Sakwa. My parting shot is that uh, young people should actually first look for their tribe, look for a group where they can interact and get friends, and finally they should be very willing to network outside uh, by looking you know, for mentors and uh, so on and so on. And finally, uh, just to the comrades at the University of Nairobi, um, you know, um, we, uh, we have uh, so much uh, work to do uh, through uh, Timugo. 
we are looking at uh, uh, improving student welfare, bringing in uh, student-driven projects and partnerships, and also looking to revamp, uh, you know, infrastructure in, in the university, and that can be done through uh, my team, Colin Smugo. Right. Yeah. Moja too. Yes. Moja. Moja. Yes. Uh, uh, Twitter, which is at Colin Smugo. Right. Yours. With a single L. At Collins. Collins Smugo. The Collins with a single L. All right, yeah. and follow, all right, yours? Uh, Instagram, Lyrical King 74 All right, so you guys know how to find them and access them and give them feedback on how they performed right here on today's conversation. But you guys, Karibu Sana, you guys are a vibe. I liked everything. So, so. Thank and you. that's why we put a close to it. Definitely, we'll see you tomorrow for Innovation and uh, Entrepreneurship Tuesday. You can always follow me at Brian Sako 101 and also follow us at Y254 channel and subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on threads at Y254 channel. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic Monday.